Okay, we get a 1662, we get the black pieces. Welcome to day 157 on my journey to 2000 ELO on chess.com. I'm gonna play a Karl Khan. All right, and I'm going to play this early C5 move, as you guys know, know I like to do. This really just fights for the center immediately. So white doesn't have time to kind of make their center super strong, breaks up the defense of this pawn. They can still play this move, don't get me wrong, but it's more so than I'll have pressure on d4. Okay, so I see h3. Nothing, nothing crazy about that move. I think they want to bring the bishop here and prevent my bishop from developing. So maybe this move was a little bit more accurate. I don't know. Attacking this pawn immediately, I think, is fine. I think the move here is takes. Takes, takes, takes. Yeah, let's take, or I can take here, actually. I could take this pawn, right? And then what happens if this check happens? Then I block with the queen, or blo <laughs> block with the queen, uh, block with the bishop. I don't know if there's something wrong about this. Maybe there's something very wrong about taking this other pawn. Maybe it's this move combined with this move. That was probably what I had to look out for. I think I safely, I need to safely tuck my bishop in. But let's... So the idea is to come here, maybe? I'm just going to prevent any piece from coming to the square. This is protected. Yep. So I can go back here. And I think I will do that. I feel like I'm taking a little bit too long on these moves. Or I can even go here to tempo the bishop again. I actually like that better. I actually like that better. And then I have e5 if I want it. It's an interesting Karl Khan because I you know I never really play like this. E5 looks good. Maybe I should have played E5 last turn. I just don't, I'm always worried about playing E5 too early in the Karl Khan because this D pawn can get kind of weak. Like if I play E5, then all of a sudden he has two attackers on this pawn. And. Um, but let's play e5. Let's play e5. I think it's the most principled thing to do. And then when he drops the knight back, he will have two attackers on the pawn, so I can always push that forward. Or play the bishop d6. Probably bishop d6 would be better, because it develops a piece and protects this pawn. That's a strange move. Um, what about here? I 
I could just start kicking these knights around. If I go here, the knight can't go here because it doesn't have this move. It has, actually, is that trap the knight? I think this traps the knight. <laughs> Am I weakening my king too much? I got a bug on my thing. Oh no, it just knight just goes back. That's kind of silly. I think actually now my pawns are a little bit overextended. But what about this check though? Is this not devastating? Um, hang on a second. So this check, he blocks with the pawn. I take. I don't even have to take at that point. And then he castles. So I block with, or I, I check with the bishop. But then I, no, that doesn't work. This is just silly the way I did this. I can go for the other bishop. Maybe that's the best way to go. Oh, okay. And then that, that actually adds another piece to the square. Let's do that. Let's go for this bishop. Keep the pressure on. Not sure if this is good, but it feels good. Interesting. So I have this to prevent him from castling. I actually think I'm going to do that. So if I do that and he, and he pushes, I take. And then he can take here. But then I take here with check. Now I can castle it. Once I castle, I feel pretty good about this position. I guess he can still castle, but yeah, he can castle and then it's just like, why did I do this? Guess I take this bishop here. He's got this nice square for the knight now. Why did I do this? It doesn't seem bad, but I don't think it's good. What I got going on here? Double attack if this knight moves. So he's got this nice square, yeah. <clears throat> now where can this knight go? Here, here. Not particularly worried about either of those squares. I'm thinking of going here so I can put this bishop on this diagonal. But what about a move like... Actually, this looks fine. Let's do this. Put the bishop here. And then maybe line the queen up here. Maybe he's bringing a bishop here. I would imagine he wants to improve this piece. I need to finish my development. And I think I need to move the rook out of the way because of that. And I do want to get this bishop on this diagonal, but moving the rook... Actually, what about a7? I feel like I can swing it over instead of here. Not really doing anything on that square. It's protecting f7 here dual purpose move. I mean, if I was him, I would just start maybe trying to apply pressure on this knight over here. Maybe even this is a good move to... What does that do? He's just developing his queen, it looks like.
I need to develop this bishop, but I think I... I don't know if I want to give up this diagonal. I don't know that I want to take his bishop if he moves the knight, so... Let's threaten to go here. Try to punish him for putting his queen on the same diagonal as the rook. And we do it. General observations, I'm down two minutes in, on the clock and I'm soon to be up material. queen here to attack this pawn. I'm also protecting this pawn a little bit. Just getting my queen to a more active square. Maybe I'll bring the rook over. Maybe not. I also maybe want to get this knight. I was hoping he'd push here and I could jump my knight in here, but it's not looking likely. So maybe knight as a destination that looks something like this. Oh, I kind of wish my rook was on this square. He wants to check me, I think. I don't know. I don't know what he wants. Let's just apply more pressure here. If I can trade queens, I'm on material. potentially play f6 to help with e5 here if I have to move the knight. Bishop can drop back. My bishop is probably my least active piece right now, but it is controlling an important square. Let's take here. Maybe he wants to pin here, but this check does get me out of that. I also have this check. Okay. Oh, he's got back rank mate. No, he doesn't. I think he thought he had a back rank mate before he played all of those moves. He does have this move, but then I just take the queen. So he probably wants to keep that in reserve. So I would imagine... Mm, I don't know what I imagine at this point. What's the threat here? This? He simply wants to take my rook and check maybe. But I don't want him to do that. get this rook more active. Let's do that. Queen's kind of in the middle of nowhere. I really wish 
wish this knight wasn't here because I could play this move and force another traitor rooks here. Okay, he's uh, he's going for something here. I don't want to play passively, but I'm going to do this so I have this available. Oh, did I just mate myself? Let's go here, right? Does that matter though? So if I take here, he takes, I go here, he can check, and then I go here, and it's not mate. Or I go here, and he has to move the queen. Okay, well, I don't have a lot of time, so let's just get this over with. Okay, I'm completely miscalculated this. The other move is better for sure. Oh, this is checkmate anyway. It's checkmate anyway. I should have just moved my king over, I think. Alright, gotta get ready for game two. Wipe, uh, wipe this slate clean. I didn't even realize we're the same rating. That sucks, man. I think if I would had gone king over, it would have been fine. So let, I'm going to review that later. Let's play another one here. Play e4, 1639. Let's right, see if we can get a scotch here. Okay. Just give up the pawn. What do you got going on here? You're going to try to checkmate me? Bus gas gambit. So you're gambiting the pawn. And I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it. Mm -hmm. I'm sure this is all mainline here. It's got to be. So... Important to note that the knight is defended, but I can simply develop a bishop, and I think that might be an okay way, but if I go back, you see this is this is annoying because if I go back, he takes the pawn, I can pin the queen, and then we trade queens, and it's like fine. But what about if I just I can't tempo the bishop because my queen hangs. Or my, uh... I don't like this. I, I can't imagine that's a good move, because then I go here. I don't understand what's wrong with this. I guess I just do this. I mean, let's trade queens, I guess. I don't
don't know why anyone would want to play this. I guess, okay, you get a knight, whatever. It's, I mean, I'm just going to make you trade queens with me. I mean, maybe I'm missing something, but this, I mean, what, can he castle next turn? He can castle. This is the, the plan, the grand scheme. I mean, I can just go here. No. This breaks the pin too. So I can, I'm attacking with both knights. This is kind of loose. He can't take here. I like this move though. I still don't get it. I still don't get what the what's the point of all this. I mean, I feel like there's far better gambits to play than this. That seems like a bad move. I guess you play what you like. Oh, hey, I'm a should be hating on my opponent's opening. So I could play h3 to avoid the bishop pin here, but I'm not really that scared of that. And I kind of want to see what he wants to do with this, this bishop here. I mean, I'm totally okay with trading there. get this bishop on a nice active diagonal. I kind of like this diagonal because it keeps an eye on this pawn right here, but I like this diagonal because I'm eyeing this pawn. But there's not really another uh, an easy way for me to attack this pawn. So I think here for now is good. And that I'll just go back here. terribly worried about that. He can trade more pieces if he wishes. Let's get this bishop out and connect the rooks. So where do I want the bishop though? Do I really want it on this diagonal? It's not really going to be doing much here, so let's go for it. Oh, I forget. Yeah, he's got this pawn. Yeah. So let's actually just defend the knight here real quick like. Let's just defend this knight. I don't like that I have to defend the knight. But it must be done. And I specifically don't like that this is, becomes a threat. I 
Let's do this. I think this is going to be bad. So if I go here and sack a pawn, there's no need to do that. Let me just push in the mid in the center here. Let's do that. Let's push in the center, take up some more space. I mean, this kind of lets me off the hook, right? It's just so passive, like I have to play so passively. My pawns are just looking ugly anyway. Opponent playing very solid. This pawn is now a weakness. But maybe I... I mean, opponent is just playing out of his mind. How do you, what do you even do against this? Like, hang on one second. So, what do I even do here? Mm, I mean, I'm gonna lose the pawn either way, so I feel like I kind of should push it. But I don't know really what that does. But let's figure it out. Now I have this move, potentially. This pawn's hanging, this pawn's hanging. Take your pick. Takes, takes, push. for sure. I know that much. Gosh. Bro is adamant. Okay, so I mean, I guess I attack this pawn. protect this pawn. You can just go after this pawn maybe if I go away from it. Let's try to trade a pair of rooks. I have a minute left. 
He's probably just going to jump his knight to b3. I would imagine. b3. I'm going to take the rook. Okay. Um, let's simplify, I guess. Oh, wait, he can take the... And go here. He, I can't do that. That's a tricky move. Here. Wait, if I go here, he takes here. I take here. He takes here. Go here. He takes here. I take there. He takes here. Yeah, that's very tricky. I need to protect this pawn, then, which is true or certain. I guess he's just attacking this pawn too. So, I mean, this is all just bad. I should have probably went back here. Need to create a lift. Or I'm never gonna go anywhere in life. This is this is much better, maybe. A much better plan. Cause he needs to protect that pawn. Yeah, and he understands that. I mean this is like this is just oppressive play. This is the clinical by my opponent. Like, absolutely clinical, the way he's playing. He just pushes here. I mean, what do I do? I guess I fork, and then he, he goes here. Oh, he can't. Oh, I guess this isn't even a fork. What? I mean, how do I even deal with this? I can't. I have three seconds. I need to get out of check is what I need to do. It actually doesn't even matter because I could have um, taken. Oh, I, don't know. I mean, that was just insane by my opponent. Um, I'm not going to go through the whole game, but I'm interested to see that was crazy accurate by my opponent. Crazy accurate. He played so well. Yeah, 91.4. What do you, what can you do? That's crazy. He played so well. All right, well, <sighs> it's safe to say I ended my winning streak, so... Um, but thanks for watching. I'll see you back in the next one.